Entry door video in part two. Um, had a lot of folks talking about security and, uh, you know, having a... Uh, um, tempered glass um, again yes if you're going to order your door early order it with tempered glass and again preferably order one if you have like ours a 30 roughly a 36 inch opening order a 34 inch door and then do a little bit of in framing on both sides use the jam that comes with the door and install the whole thing have it out swing make it you know order it exactly like you want again i was in a bind here just to get one and get it in there because we're back on the road here next week so i wanted to uh just get what it was available and so here we go so uh but somebody made a real good point about uh the screws these screws are all uh meant to be on the interior of the door so that somebody can't walk right up and unscrew them and take your window out so um i'm going to put a protective window film on both sides actually tinting on one on the interior and then the security uh, film on the exterior. Um, I was gonna take the window out and do it in the garage, but watching a couple of videos, they say it's best to actually do it uh, in an upright position like this, because you're spraying it with soapy water and the water needs to kind of run down and, and run out of the way, otherwise it would pool up on there. So um, I'm gonna put the tinted part on first, then take the door, the window out, flip it around, install it again, and then have the uh, security film on the outside, so. Here we go. So this is the tint that I got for the for the inside. Um, it's more of it's not really about security. It's more just a, for actually you know tinting so that the keep the sun out a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna open that up, get that set up to put on. Um, it comes 24 inches by I think it was 72 or 70 something. Um, I need about 21 by like 68. So. Uh, it's about a little bit big, which is perfect for the window I have. Okay, so with the, the tinting film, they want you to cut it right to the size. I didn't do the greatest cut, but it's pretty close. Got it all done and now um, sprayed with the soapy, a little bit of soapy water there. Soapy water all over the window. And so now we hold it up there, stick it to it and squeegee it out. Well, not the greatest work, but not too horrible for the first time out. Um, still ended up couple of little ripples here and there. I don't know if, you, if they even come through on here, but uh, we'll be again flipping it around. So this will be on the uh, inside. And uh, I think the security film is a little more forgiving actually than the, this tint. Hopefully anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna use more soapy water. So yeah, much easier to take it out of the frame. I should have just done this in the first place. Um, again, just pull the screws in the frame all the way around these little screws and those will end up being on the inside instead and so the trim comes off like this on both sides on these so you can see it's an insulated door it's got uh, foam in there but uh, that's what it looks like without the window and that way too it would have been a lot easier i could have simply you know put the film on um, and let it run long and then just trimmed it off the glass on the edges on the corners or had it and that way the trim would have gone back on and just covered it right up. So if you do a tinting and you can take the window out, definitely do so like that. All right, so this time I'm gonna do it in this location here. Again, upright, but um, you know, here in the uh, shade inside, it's getting hot. Um, this way it'll be, I'll cut it rough, rough size to the uh, thing here. And then uh, you basically clean the glass really thoroughly. Uh, you know, the film has a backer on it, a sticky backer. And so you get it all prepped and then you spray, peel off the backing layer, spray that with soapy water, soapy water, soapy water, stick them together, squeegee it all out. Basically you take the squeegee and you go across the top for, and then down the center, and then you kind of work your way out from the middle down and uh, squeegee out all that soapy water and then let it dry. And uh, basically that's all there is to it. So let's see how we can do with the next this layer. This is the uh, protective film. It's all wrapped up in a nice little, uh, its own protection. So we're gonna unwrap that and cut it to length and uh, we'll get her stuck stuck on there. All right, so got the uh, piece cut, got the, everything sprayed down real good and ready to adhese.
ahead and cut some of this on the bottom so it'll lay flat. Just cut the extra film right off at the glass edge here. A little easier than doing it on an existing window because uh, then you don't have to mess with the rest of the window. <laughs> here, you just cut it right off in place. Come on. Well, there you have it guys, uh, new protective film on the exterior of the door and tinting on the inside. Um, basically this stuff is like, uh, like this, the protective stuff you put on your phone nowadays. It's a thin uh, protective layer and it goes on really similar, just a lot bigger piece. Um, but uh, should do the trick. Somebody brought up about now that the, the hinges are on the exterior, that, uh, that we need safety hinges because someone just popped the hinges off. So maybe I'll do part three for all this, but uh, order everything ahead of time that uh, if you have the time, order what you need and get tempered glass, get the door you need to size. But if you gotta make do with what you got, you can, you can make it safe uh, with the film on, on top at the end of it. So if you found this useful, uh, be sure to subscribe and share with folks and uh, Check out all the rest of our videos on our uh, the full shuttle bus build that we've done in the past. If you're working on a bus or shuttle bus um, and you want to put a door in, here's how you can do it.